it's Monday morning and I'm back in New York. I was on a bachelorette trip this past weekend, which was so fun. It was my first bachelorette trip ever. Um, I am so ready to get back into routine. I'm so ready to take you guys along. I'm literally in New York for the next month, which is so exciting. I'm not traveling, I'm not going anywhere. I can fully nest in this apartment. I'm gonna organize my bathroom. I'm hanging up a ton of stuff this week and I'm just gonna take you guys along. So welcome back to another moving vlog, getting my life together vlog. We're starting off the day with a nice morning walk, which I have been craving. So I'm so excited. I've got my to-go coffee, my walking fit on. We're gonna go walk on the West Side Highway. And yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, subscribe, because I post new videos every week. And it's a fun time around here. All right, let's go. Just came back from my walk to my Whole Foods grocery delivery that I ordered while I was at the airport yesterday. So I'm very happy and thankful to my past self for this. Um, the walk was amazing. Started pouring on me, but then I decided to keep walking. It was pretty euphoric, but um, we're eating lots of meals at home this week, you guys. I'm so happy to just be back. So this is kind of an overview. I got stuff to make like three or four different dinners and then my favorite salad I'm gonna make again that my dad showed me. So that's why I got the rotisserie chicken to do some chicken on the salad with this pepperoncini, good seasons, Italian dressing, all that. Got some chicken, onion, I mean, you guys can see it all. Some apples, ground beef. This is such an easy hack if you live alone and don't wanna make a ton of rice. It's frozen rice and I'll just heat up like a little bit for my plate each time, which is so ideal. They had to substitute these. I wanted a different type of chicken, but sometimes I like to make this type of chicken forever my salad. Always gotta get some of these Rayo's meatballs just to have in the freezer because they make such a good dinner. This is the overview. I'm gonna put all this away. Thank God they had this good culture cottage cheese. Sometimes they're sold out and I get really sad and I've been, I haven't had any in like a week and a half. I'm craving it. I just love a stocked fridge, my goodness. Also, I still have so much room in my fridge. I absolutely love that for me because there's nothing worse than whether you're like trying to fit things, but I think it's because I moved and like I threw away a ton of old stuff that were in the shelves, but I've got room for activity in this fridge. My freezer door does this thing. A lot of the things in this kitchen do this, like if you lean against it, it opens. So sometimes I accidentally lean against it. Also, <laughs> the essentials, my ice roller and gray goose. Um, put the rest of my freezer things in here, but um, yeah, I think, yeah. Obviously, gotta make my breakfast. Comment down below how you guys get in a lot of protein in your day. Um, a lot of people have suggested like kind of front loading it. So having a lot of protein in the morning, which is so doable for me because I love breakfast so much. Like I know some people don't really like breakfast. They don't, they're not hungry right in the morning, but I am. So I'm trying to lean into that. So I'm having three eggs and then a thing of cottage cheese, which is 18 grams of protein. But like still that's not enough. So if you guys are in, on this journey as well, Please comment down below how you're getting a ton of protein in your day. Like, I just know I'm not eating enough protein. When I went to the doctor, she just told me I was not eating enough protein. But like, I feel like I'm actively trying between like protein shakes and all this, but I wanna eat more. I wanna have more protein in my diet. So comment down below, but I love me some eggs, I do. I just showered, I'm in my robe. I'm just so cozy right now. And I thought we'd do another little like apartment update. I am so sick of seeing these boxes against my bed. So I think I'm gonna take them out of the boxes today and move them. They're basically two mirrors that are going above my nightstands, but I just wanna see what this living room would look like without those boxes. So I need to move them. Getting a fig, or no, is that what it's called? An no, an olive tree, getting an olive tree, a bigger one, bigger than the one in my bedroom for right there because that just doesn't work. Waiting on my coffee table. I'm so excited I got it custom made and 
it's gonna look so good. It's like a long black rectangle. Um, so it won't take too much space here and I don't need drawer. It doesn't have drawers or anything, but that's why I have this console with so much storage. I got this beautiful artwork that's gonna go right there from Etsy. I think it's coming this week. So I'm really excited to fill this wall. The artwork for Above My Credenza is arriving this week as well. I also, I think I got it on Etsy. They also like made it, they like make it to order. So they like sent a proof and they're like, do you like that? Or not even a proof, they sent it. They sent the photo of the actual painting. They're like, do you like it? And I said, yes. So we're gonna hang that up here. Hopefully at the end of this week, I have the handyman coming at the end of this week to help with a ton of that. So I'm excited about that. These boxes just came, which I believe are the lamps for my nightstand. And I am thrilled about that. Bedroom is coming together nicely. Like I said, I have two black oval long mirrors that are gonna be hung above the nightstand, which I'm pumped about. These are not necessarily the pillows that are gonna be on my bed. They just came from my last apartment. Maybe I'll use them, but I definitely need to add more. And I also think I need to get king-sized pillows because like obviously the king bed is longer, which is definitely cool. I'm gonna look about getting some artwork for right there. But yeah, I'll have my lamps and um, mirrors by the end of this week up, which will look so nice. Still, I'm like still kind of torn if I want to lime wash my walls. A lot of you guys said I should do it. A lot of you guys said maybe I shouldn't. So then I would need to get something a little bit more colorful for above my bed or figure that out. I also want to add some color to my pillows maybe. I'm not so sure. Maybe add a second duvet like to layer it. Like just to kind of like have on the end of the bed. I think that always looks nice. I'm kind of liking this mirror here. I may have my handyman hang it up though like on the wall so it's not leaning i just need like a mirror in here because if you're getting dressed super quickly i can't just go run out to my living room every time this is the olive tree i have in here that will go there i just haven't moved it and this is like a studio lighting that we used for podcasting but i have it in here because there's no lights in here at night so <laughs> that's important but this it'll basically be a bigger version of this in my living room and then i think that's it for the bedroom this is what we're about to tackle literally right now because i can't look at it any longer this is so embarrassing, but I really wanted to do it right. So I've literally kept all of my drawers empty the full like two weeks I've been living here or three weeks now because I wanted to have a day where I fully organized it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I've literally kept my medicine cabinets all empty because I wanna organize it right. So we're gonna get to that soon in a second i want to do a little like TikTok with like before and after and all that but i'm excited to have that clear and just have a more a less chaotic space in here i need to get a bath mat of sorts because when i get out of the shower it's kind of wet there but i can't leave the bath mat there because the door goes all the way to the floor and it would just hit it so i'm thinking of getting a bath mat for right here that when i get out of the shower i can just jump <laughs> right here i mean like barely jump but just so my feet are dry so but i want it to look nice i don't want it to look i don't know i want it to be good so i need to figure that out i don't have a linen closet or anything so i was thinking i could get like a little like a short rack almost like a shoe rack that i could like make like a little spa area so i could fold towels put I don't know, extra toilet paper, stuff like that. I think that would look cute. Well, I mean, the toilet paper wouldn't look cute, but you know what I mean. And for my shower, th that shelf is pretty big. It fits a lot, but I definitely acquire products as life goes on. So I'm thinking of getting some sort of like a standing caddy, like nothing that would stick to the wall because I think that would just not look good in here, but some like corner shelf thing that I could put extra products. But right now it's going well, just having those there but I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna want some overflow storage. As for my closet, like one of my favorite parts of my apartment, I am still waiting on it in the mail from Amazon, but I got a little acrylic ladder that is just like cute. I could always keep it out so I don't have to keep going to grab my ladder in my coat closet so I can get shoes up there. And I just feel like that will just be very luxe to have a stool of sorts in here. I'm just giving the counter a nice clean before I Fill it up again. No, I actually don't want to fill up my counter. I'd like it to be pretty bare. Just have my soap, a towel. Um, might have to keep my toothbrush out though. I don't know, because I gotta charge my electric toothbrush so I don't get any cavities. But other than that, um, I'd like it to look pretty sleek and clean. Like maybe a candle, I don't know. All right, ready for action. I am going to start taking things out of the boxes, putting things in. I gotta figure out my method. I think most, I'll do, mm, I have no, I actually don't have a method. <laughs> 
I'm like, wait, actually, what am I doing? I'm thinking skincare here. I could, this, I have two of them that I could do like, also you guys said I could take these out. Okay, so I could move these around if needed. Oh my God, I could charge my toothbrush in here and you won't even see it. That is, I bet that's what that's for. But I also have these drawers that are a little taller. So I'm wondering if like my hairspray, would that fit and shut? Oh my gosh, it would fit and shut. So I gotta figure out, you know, what I want where. I'm gonna start with skincare because I know I want skincare there. Guys, look at what I'm doing right now. I found this bronze shoe rack that would go perfectly with like the bronze details in my bathroom and you can press view in your room, which I can't lie, I've never done before. And oh my God. So you just, this is where I would put it. And then you can move it around, which is hard to do with one hand, but I did it earlier. And then you can place it. And like, I'm obsessed with how that looks right there. This is crazy. Like it actually looks so good right under my towel rack and I can have folded up towels there and other cute little things. I think I'm gonna buy it, it's on Amazon. And I also did the same thing for a bath mat right here. I like looked, I viewed it in my room and it looked nice. Also, here's a little update. I'm trying to kind of color coordinate over here, like purples to blues. This is like my everyday stuff. Masks and like random things up there. Um, but I'm pretty happy. And then this side is kind of miscellaneous at the moment. I have all my body glow stuff up there, but I'll give a full tour in a second, but I'm just still working through and decided in that moment, I was gonna look for a shoe rack thing and it's perfect. Okay, we have an update. Ignore this. I just made another coffee and I'm charging my phone over here, but this is what we've got going on. I want y'all suggestions on like where what should go, but I did forget I have my little perfume like travertine tray that I got on Amazon that I absolutely love and I like to have my scents out. So I know everything's like in a corner over there, but I just thought kind of cute, but my soap probably should go here. It's just when I open this, that gets in the way. Easily can be scooched over, but just something to think about that probably makes more sense. I don't know, just trying to think that through. I like things to be very sleek and clean. Um, and then I have, I got, Clara Purse told me about this cause I was saying how my face towels don't look very good on my counter. And she sent me the link to this on Amazon and it looks so much nicer. And then I put my little headband on there. I thought this was kind of a cute little moment. I don't know. This is not like super aesthetically pleasing organized, but it's organized for my brain and what it needs in the bathroom. So here is my makeup bag, my like everyday makeup bag. Eyelash, eyebrow spoolies, some like setting sprays, stuff that I just use on the day-to-day -day basis when I'm doing my makeup. Down here, I have all of my hair tools and then some like random body products and then self tan. Kind of random, but that's what we're doing. And then here, and like, as you can see these drawers, it's because the sink's there, so they still wanted to make it somewhat of a drawer, which I do appreciate. Hair clips, hair ties, hair rollers, headbands, um, just kind of the hair section, like my new favorite hairbrush from Crown Affair. That's that. Again, I have to like live with it for a little and see how this all works, but this is what I thought would make the most sense. And then down here, this probably is the most organized looking. I use these bins that I had in my last apartment as well. I've got like extra shampoo, conditioner, and then hair products. So that's that. I wish these were something so bad. Oh, and then the medicine cabinets. My camera's about to die. I try to do some sort of coloring here, kind of already showed you guys that. And then on this side, it's kind of the unsexy products. So the toothbrush I do have charging there, which is nice, scalp serum, body glow up there, cotton swabs, water flosser, stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. Just unboxed my lamps. I'm so obsessed with them. This is beautiful travertine moment. And then this stunning shade. I'm so excited to have lamps and they have these things, which I just, I don't know why that's so exciting to me. And you can put two bulbs, so you could have one on or both on. I also just bought some more um, colored light bulbs so I can do my red light when I, before I go to bed. But I think these are gonna look so nice in there. And like, honestly, a big decoration piece. I'm headed to Brooke's apartment because we have a very long, very big meeting today. Um, our assistant's coming as well. And we're talking about some things that we are announcing soon and we have to plan and do all these things. So I'm gonna be at her apartment from like probably two to 7 p.m. 
Um, so I just want to be comfortable, but I'm excited to get her apartment. I love being at her apartment and to see her and catch up and get some work done. So I will see you guys when I'm back in the evening. <laughs> I just got back from Brooks. I look so bad right now. Oh my god. I am so happy with how the meeting went though. I and I walked in and my doormen were just I just love my building so much. They're all so nice here. They were just so funny. They were like, how is London? How is the bachelorette? Like I've just always wanted this. Like it's just so fun to interact with them and like they're just my new buddies every time I walk in my building. Um so now I'm getting ready to I'm just cleaning, unpacking things. I just constantly have something to do at all points this week. Honestly, the month of September is about to be crazy, but Ryan's coming over and we're gonna cook dinner. So I'm just prepping for him to come. Um, but we're gonna like co-work together tonight because we both have stuff to do. And little does he know he's gonna be helping me with a few things in here. I just showered, I feel incredible. A hair wash moment. We're in this little set from Skims. I have a very hydrating face mask on and I'm feeling better. I was just feeling really gross for a second. You know, like in everything shower hits. Ryan's here and he brought me these beautiful flowers. I love it. We're cooking some chicken teriyaki tonight. Got this primal kitchen, no soy teriyaki sauce and marinade. And then we've got, I ordered, part of my Whole Foods delivery was supposed to be stir fry, but like stir fry vegetables, but I guess they were sold out. So I've got my organic trimmed green beans. That's a microwavable bag. Love that stuff. And that's our dinner tonight. Also, I believe today is the day Ryan and his roommate want my plant. So I'm keeping the like base thing, but they're gonna take the plant, which is so exciting because then I won't have to say goodbye to it. And they'll have some greenery in their apartment. Wow. I put some sesame seeds on them to make it all nice and fancy. Got our green beans, this looks pretty good. I'm moving these boxes so at least I can see what this looks like. Oh, it looks so nice. I've got the couch cleaners coming this week too so they can clean the back of my couch because the back of my couch was always against a wall so you never saw it and there's definitely some things that need to be cleaned. Wow, this looks good, huh? I haven't seen this without the boxes. Love. Ryan just left, we were chatting, and then we realized how late it was, and he didn't have his stuff to sleep over to go to work. So I'm just realizing how late it is. But I made some sleepy time tea. I'm gonna drink that. I'm still waiting on a rug, on both my rugs. I don't know why they're taking so long, but I did get one rug in the mail, it's over there. Um, and we were gonna open it up tonight. And if it was the living room, he was gonna help me, but then we were like kind of tired, so that'll be a later problem. But I am happy that I moved the boxes over here. But I think once a rug's here, it'll just look more like, okay, this is the living room, this is the dining room. Something feels like a little off, but I just don't, I feel like a rug might help. I feel like since there's a rug here, it just feels like there should be a rug here and there will be. Um, but anyways, he took the plant. Goodbye plant. I am sleepy. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I'm drinking some coffee. The sheets are in the wash and I'm doing some laundry and I decided to put on the TV because I have a TV in here. I started um, my life with the Walter boys on Netflix. It's very summer. I turned pretty vibes and I'm really enjoying it. So that's my little morning. Packed my first drawer under my bed. This bed is from West Elm and this stores so many sweatshirts and comfies. So I put like some of my most reached for comfy clothes so that when I'm getting dressed, I can just pop them on. But only one drawer out of four are filled. So that's good. I'm gonna try and keep a few empty. We'll see. I've still managed to keep up with the organization. Obviously, I'm really able to keep up with it for a good like six months and then I need to kind of refresh it. But they kind of created a great system for me and I absolutely love it. Everything is put away, which is my least favorite chore ever, but we did it. We are at my desk slash dining table now. I have lots of computer work to do. Um, so I'm gonna get all this done now. I woke up early this morning so I could just kind of get ahead. I have a day of appointments. We're starting off with the guy now. You guys know I don't love going to the doctor, but honestly, the last few time, well, the last two years that I've gone to this guy now, they make it so easy, so fast. I feel very comfortable. So I'm actually not excited, but I feel okay about it. So I got my yearly there and then I'll come back and then I have a lash lift and tint and getting dermaplane with Michelle. 
and then straight to nails because my nails are super outgrown and I think I'm gonna do red nails some red pointy nails for fashion week because fashion week like starts next week so mentally preparing for that but also so excited I'm thinking about walking to the doctor which would be like a really long walk but that would be a good way to get activity I'm kind of in a workout rut I haven't like Literally since the Hamptons, I feel like I really haven't been on a workout routine because like my mom and brother were here and then I went to London, then I came back for a day, then I went on a bachelorette and it's like, that's no excuse because I feel like if you really want to, you can make sure to put activity into your day. But I have trouble with that. So I'm just trying to like at least go for a long walk. I feel like I'm just constantly trying to like get my life together, which is not good. So I'm trying to figure out how to infuse stuff like that into my routine. I mean, I just love morning workouts and my mornings have been busy. Except right now, clearly I'm not busy. Well, I am busy, but I could work out now and then do this work later, but I'd rather get ahead of it because my team's all on the West Coast, so it's nice to like send it all out before they're even awake. And then I have like some time. I don't know. That's what's going on. now I had a night actually I should check how many steps I walked 8300 already oh I'm for sure hitting 10k today I added a headband because I was just feeling it but we are gonna go get a lash lift in tint I am so excited I also do dermaplaning my face is ready for some dermaplane I go to Michelle Beauty by Michi Lee on Instagram but yeah, so we're gonna go, we're gonna walk there. I'm gonna finalize my 10K steps for the day. And then from the lashes, I'm gonna jet over to Lower East Side and get my nails done. Skin, hairless, lashes popping. I love it, I look crazy though. Ooh. Back at the apartment once again. I got my red nails, I'm obsessed. Vibes are right. We're having a cozy night in, just me and myself and I. Me, myself, and I. I'm cooking up some ground beef and broccoli, one of my favorite meals. I had soy sauce or teriyaki sauce, but I think I'm gonna do soy sauce tonight and sesame seeds, and maybe I'll do a little rice tonight. It's so good. thing ever is like mixing the veggies and the meat all together for a little stir fry moment and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of this and see I love these things because I just poured a little bit of rice oh that's hot in a bowl it's a microwave yeah it's hot I can't lift it up yet and I just get a little rice with it it's perfect I don't have to make a whole batch just made oh I gotta add the sesame seeds that's better and I'm gonna sit at the dining table and watch my life with the Walter boys because I'm obsessed I'm so excited my Philips Hue light bulbs came in and I'm gonna put them on the lamps, which is so exciting. So I'll have lamps finally in my room because right now I still have my studio lighting in there, which is kind of a vibe, but I'm very excited to put these lamps in. I've got the lamps plugged in. I haven't put the shades on yet in case I need to adjust the bulbs or anything, but I just downloaded the Hue app. Um, the Philips Hue app. So I think I'll be able to control the colors and everything from my phone rather than having like a remote. I wanna add, okay, yes, I do. Um, I don't think we're gonna do voice assistant. This is cool. Searching for lights. I mean, I just plugged them in. Pair, I hope it pairs with both of them though. Sorry, the TV is on in the other room. Okay, Hue color lamp one. Shut up, shut up. Oh my God, this is crazy. Wait, it only does one light bulb at a time? That's a lot of different light bulbs there, huh? Okay, I need to make sure, okay, here, there's another one. So we'll do two. Oh wow, yeah, since there's two light bulbs in each lamp, this is gonna be interesting, but that's good, hopefully. Oh, perfect, we've got another one over here. We'll do number three. Wow, this is, yeah, so I might have all kinds of colors going on, okay? And we've got the fourth one, guys, yay. I don't know why I'm including you in all this, but you guys are along for the ride right now. Yay, oh my gosh, one, two, three, and four. You're all set, that was so easy. 
scenes. They have lighting designers. Oh my gosh, read. We've got the reading lighting on. What else do we have? Nighttime. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Shut up, guys. This is going to be so fun. <gasps> what else? City of Love. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Stop. Soho. Ooh, spicy. No, no. This is sick. Like, why have I not gotten these light bulbs sooner? Galaxy? Wow, this is this is about to change the game. There's so many. All right, well, love that for me. And this is going to be fun to play with. I'm going to put the lampshades on now. It sure is cozying up in here. Wow, I am just so happy. I also bought this little standing corner shower caddy on Amazon, so I'm gonna put this together now so I can put that in my shower. Woohoo! I got the four tier one. I think it also came with little hooks, question mark? Is that what this is for? Is this to mount it to the wall? This might be to like stick it to the, yeah, so it stays on the wall. So maybe I'll hold on to that and see. But yeah, let's go put it in the shower. So much organization is happening this week, you guys. Look! Dun, 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 dun. I like it because if you're looking at my shower like this, it's so clean looking. So I have like my essentials, like shampoo, conditioner, face wash, body wash. And then over here on the top, I've got my razor. And then, actually random, but my friend said I need to try and use that for shaving. So updates to come there. I try to do kind of color coordinated, like green neutrals orange hair mask down there. It's kind of random. This is totally not gonna stay like that. It doesn't, it's not even that color coordinated, but I'm kind of thinking I should use those adhesive hooks just so it stays. Okay, another item came in the mail and that is my bath mat. Oh, it came with two. Oh, sick, I can put one by the bathtub too. I think this will look nice. I like it because it doesn't look like a typical bath mat. Not your everyday bath mat. Oh, I like how this looks a lot. I feel like this looks really nice. I mean, obviously I wish I didn't need one, but when I get out of the shower, my feet are wet. So let's see. Perfect, doesn't hit the shower door. So I get out of the shower and I just go, That'll play, that will play. I didn't realize it comes with another one that I can put there. I don't know if I like it. Like I think it's, I think I'll keep it for like when I take a bath and I'll put it out, but I kind of like the clean look, you know? But yay, I think, I think this looks good. Hopefully it's not all too mismatchy. I got it on Amazon and I just liked how sleek it was and not all like, I had one at my last apartment that was white and like towel furry like, and it just got dirty all the time and it just started to look really bad. So I feel like this will wear longer and better. Okay, I haven't opened it yet, but I got this package, Danielle. Congratulations on the epic feature in Forbes. We we're so excited for you and thought this would go perfectly in your new apartment. Can't wait to see what you do next. Holy shit, is this gonna be my Forbes feature? That's gonna be so, oh my God. I'm nervous, but excited. Shut up, shut up. Ah, holy shit, this is so cool, I could cry. It's my Forbes feature of my last apartment. Wait, that is the nicest. This is so nice, I could cry. And Skin Fix just sent me their new products, so. I love you Skin Fix so much. I literally use it every day, as you guys know. This is so kind. I have to FaceTime my dad and show him this. This is so nice. Hi, oh, you've got the red light on. Of course. <laughs> so Skin Fix, this brand that I went to Canada with and I use it every day. They sent me the sweetest housewarming gift ever. Are you ready? Okay. It's my Forbes feature in a frame. Oh. Isn't that so nice? Like it's so, like how nice. This is like, it's like a long one they included. There must be, this website must like do this. Like this is like, how cool. It is very cool. 
This is like the nicest gift ever. All right, I showered, put my PJs on, and I'm about to dive in. Wow, my voice is incredible. Um, But I'm gonna get in bed, read my Kindle a little bit. I'm like so obsessed with this nightstand and having like this little drawer right here. So I've got, I've got both my Kindles in there. Um, but I'm gonna do some reading and hit the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Oh, that means there's a new episode of Gals on the Go. If you don't know, I have a podcast with my best friend, Brooke Michio, and it's called Gals on the Go. And we upload new episodes every Wednesday. I woke up feeling... My friend calls it Puffasaurus, puffy. Depuffing the day away with ice rollers. We got the eye patches on. So funny, I used to like wake up every morning and put on eye patches like my first year living here. And now I don't as much, but not for any reason. I've got my mom wearing them every morning. Like when my mom came and visited me, she wore eye patches every morning. Anywho, I'm enjoying my morning. I've been obsessed with waking up early so that I can enjoy my morning before the day starts um even though when my alarm goes off i'm like mm, do i want to get up okay i'll get up i have nyc steamers coming today and they're cleaning my couch because i think i showed you guys on the back of my couch it's a little dirty because it was against my wall in my last apartment and then they're also treating um like doing a scotch guard i think it's called like treating these chairs and my bar stools, which now that I'm realizing, I feel like they told me, like last time I did this for another thing, you can't sit on it for like hours, so I'll have to ask them about that, but just because these are basically white and so are my bar stools, we're gonna basically like seal them, scotch guard them, whatever, just because this is a table I'll be eating at and I don't wanna stay in these chairs or anything, so. They'll be here pretty soon, actually. They don't take too long. I feel like they take like an hour or so. And I'm excited. It's really cool seeing like them just like wash the couch. It's it's very satisfying. I do suggest that I've had them come a few times. And then later, I'm going to the hair salon because when I got my extensions, I misunderstood how much time he needed to do the whole thing. And I had an event that night, so he didn't get to gloss my extensions and I'm sure you guys have noticed that no one's actually said anything but you can especially tell when my hair is straight that like the extensions are a little bit blonder than my real hair and when my hair is curled it just kind of gives an ombre effect but when it's straight it kind of looks weird um so we had planned for like once I had a little bit more time to go back and get the extensions glossed I think basically it's just gonna make the extensions darker and a little bit more similar to my hair color. And then also Mads, who does my color, she's gonna bring up the blonde in the front a little bit, which I do a lot. Like I'm not getting my hair colored anywhere. I'm trying to grow out my hair, obviously and be healthy, but I do like those front blonde pieces and that'll tie in the lighter ends a little bit more. So it's not as like dark to blonde. I got one, I think Ryan's gonna come over tonight, which will be helpful because I got another rug in the mail and I don't know if it's for my living room or if it's for my bedroom but he'll help me with that he said and i also got the rack for my bathroom that i'm gonna put together so i can put towels on it baskets i don't know i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna put on it but yeah so that's kind of the lay of the land i'm excited to get my hair done and change the color a little bit because i've definitely noticed especially from the back i'm like ooh. but and they had full plans to do it that day i just didn't have time so i was like ooh, we're just gonna have to live with this color and i'll be back so anyways that's kind of a long-winded thing but i'm just enjoying my morning oh gosh i just love my coffee so much we have the dream team here you guys brett and madison we're adding in some more hair we're doing color we're just doing it up so doing honestly that looks really good everything. yeah that looks yeah. really nice whatever you put we're putting some more in the when front we, we cut it yeah that looks so good well, let's like, see something really quickly I love it. I feel like a princess. Hair is done. Now I'm heading to my old apartment, potentially for the last time. Probably going again later this week. 
to get a few more things and just tie some things up. I'm literally walking around with my computer, but my hair looks so good. It feels so good to be outside. I've been inside all day, but I love my hair. I forgot to show it. Um, we added a few more extensions in the front too, so it looks fuller in the front and glossed. Oh my God, it just looks it, night and day. And it looks really good straight now. And before I feel like it looked better curled, but now I can do it all. It's just about empty in here. Ryan's about to be here and he's gonna help me and just like, I need to pick up the rugs and a couple other things, but yeah, it is weird. Like it still feels kind of homey in here just because I have some pieces that are still being sold. I think people are picking stuff up tomorrow and the next day, but yeah, wow. I really did love living here and I'm gonna miss the one doorman that's downstairs right now. He was like, Danielle, he was so happy to see me. And he was like, seriously, cause I still have like packages that are gonna come here probably. Um, and he was like, I'll text you whenever, or like I got you, which is so nice. So I'm coming to get this piece of art. I'm putting this in my bathroom, in my guest bathroom. And then I think this mirror is being sold. Um, but yeah, I just came to kind of touch base, see what's what. This is so depressing though. Good morning guys, it's Thursday morning. Brooke and I have, is it raining? I don't have time for this. Maybe that's just the water on my windows from last night. Um, <laughs> uh, Brooke and I have a really exciting photo shoot today for something we're announcing. Um, and, I'm going to face gym. I'm going on a long walk to face gym. I'm getting a sculpting facial massage. It's 7 a.m. And then I'll be back and then we'll get ready really quick and go. Um, but we're doing like a couple looks. Maybe I'll show a little behind the scenes. I'm not sure what Brooke's showing. I'm so happy with my hair. I love the color. I love that we added some more extensions up front. But this is how I'm gonna fit some activity into my day is walk to face gym. So I'm so excited. I'm excited to depuff a little. And then we have a photo shoot today. So I'm excited. How many times do you say excited? Anna Wolferman came out with this collab with Live By Active. Their stuff is so good. Like I freaking love this set. I made it to go coffee. And we kind of have to go on the road gonna be on the road like two minutes ago. So, morning, cheers, a little morning walk. studio. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Glam is glamming. Hair is herring. The shoot is over. Everyone else left. We have the studio for like 20 more minutes and I've been hanging out here because I'm meeting my friend. Today's my friend Seb's birthday and we're doing like a whole thing for her tomorrow, but today's her actual birthday and she was like, can we just do like a little dinner? So we're, me, Kelly and Cass are meeting Seb at Hillstone and the only reservation we could get was at 4.30. So we're going there and it was just too much for me to, I'm, we're in Brooklyn right now and it's gonna be too much if like I go home and then go to Hillstone. So I'm just chilling here for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna, go to Hillstone with my garment bag. But, um, so that's why I wore this dress. It's from Zara. I love it so much. And I'm just wearing these cute little heeled flats from DSW, they're Steve Madden. But I really like my makeup. I love doing this tight line. I need to do it more. It's just, it leaks a lot. So I just have to always have a Q-tip with me. I'm just loving my hair color so much. It's like a honey blonde. It's very Jennifer Aniston is what they said and I'm, really happy about that so just chilling here I'm just feeling very grateful for life and just thinking about all the fun stuff I have upcoming and 
all of my beauty appointments have paid off. We've officially, I think I'm getting my brows done tomorrow and then I'm done. We did the nails, we did the hair, we did the dermaplane, the lashes, got my makeup done today. So now I have my makeup done for this dinner. Um, but I'm excited, a little 4.30 dinner, I'm not mad about it. I'll get to go home and like have a whole night after that and go to bed semi-early. I don't hate it. See, so yeah, the shoot went so well though. And you guys will know very soon what it was for. You might have some guesses. It's birthday time. Birthday queen with her birthday martini. And Kelly and Cass. Cass is taking a beautiful photo of the spinach artichoke dip. <gasps> Wait, they replace it? Oh my god. That is so considerate. Wow. Wow. I love that. They just technically don't serve it. God. Make a wish! 26, baby! Woo! Back from dinner now. I already showered and put my pajamas on. Actually, well, I stopped by Ryan's apartment first, actually. And now I'm home. I have much to clean. Tomorrow, some of my friends are coming over to see the apartment, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> This is not in tip top shape, not at all. So we're gonna clean. Like I haven't even put my couch back together yet. And then on top of it all, I have my suitcase in here from the bachelorette that I haven't unpacked. And then I've just been throwing things on top of it as I've gone through my week, which is not smart because it's just, you're supposed to hang things up as you go. But I hate unpacking. I mean, I don't know who likes it, but anyway, so I would like to tackle this so I can like show them my closet all looking nice, but it looks good in here. And my bathroom, actually, my bathroom here looks good, but then I gotta tidy that up at least. So I've got some work cut out for me. did it i'm so happy floor is clean everything's in its place i can sleep good tonight knowing that it's nice and clean in here it's the little things tomorrow morning 7 a.m no i'm kidding santa's coming to town my mirrors are going up on either nightstand. I'm very excited about that. I also need to open it in the box, but my artwork that's gonna go right here is getting hung up tomorrow. And then artwork that's going above the credenza is going up tomorrow. Also hanging this up. I brought this from my other apartment, the off the grid gray melon. It'll go in here. And I do think it'll look really nice because it's such a big wall. And then I think I'm going to have him hang this above the landing area because I've decided I was like, wait, do I want this here? And I do. I really like it. It like stores things. But then also, oh, also, I know you guys hate this. Like, I totally understand. And I don't disagree. It's totally fair. So maybe I'm going to optimize these drawers and like organize them more so that I can put all this here because I get it. It looks a little childish. So. I understand, um, but I think I am happy with this here. Still need to open this up and figure out which rug this is, but I just can't do it alone. Maybe I'll ask if my handyman can help me. He's like my buddy at this point. Anyways, I am getting so sleepy. I'm gonna go to bed. I've been keeping up with my waking up early thing, which has been great, but also like it makes me tired earlier in the night, but that's probably good. I got some good sleep. I'm gonna go put my flip flops away and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's 7.45 a.m. Seems that it might have rained last night. I just moved my couch a little bit more this way, which is annoying because the mirror, well, I need to fix that actually. It's a little, I need to move it a little bit more on the wall, but it is not gonna be centered with the wall, but it definitely feels better so that when my coffee table eventually comes, I'm dying for it, there'll be more room for it. And there's just more space here and it really doesn't feel the only thing that's weird is the mirror is a little bit off center, but hold on, let me fix this. Okay, I fixed it. I also could have him hang it up on the wall, but I feel like what if I wanna move it or like, I don't know, does this look that bad that it's off center? It's what we planned for and I just kept forgetting to do it. I feel like I'm overthinking it, <laughs> right? Like you're not like, oh my God, it's lopsided. Like, no, it's like the couch is here. 
Um, my shoes are so squeaky. I'm wearing my my orthotic flip flops to keep my arches raised. I'm crazy. Sometimes you just gotta reset your foot, but <laughs> just me. Um, anyways, my handyman will be here soon. And I just realized this vlog is probably so long. So, ooh, let me get my, the frame TV on, just like the little picture. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Should we change the picture? I've had the same art for a while. Okay, this is nice. However, there is no color in my apartment, so let me just not do this one. This isn't color, but it's a little bit bolder. Anyways, I like that. Oh, I can't wait till I get my black coffee table and I can like decorate. Like I still need to decorate all these things. Like I just have all of these books piled up, but like I need to make this a whole moment. There's things to do. Anywho, I'm gonna enjoy my cozy morning and start the weekend in my life vlog. So don't you worry, there's more coming. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for constantly supporting me. It means more than you could ever know. I'll see you guys next time.